If our tendons are so good at repairing themselves, why do people suffer from the same annoying tendon pain for months, sometimes even for years? It's a total paradox. And the answer? Well, it lies in this hidden biological trap. This paradox points us directly to the real culprit. It's time to meet the villain of our story. And it's a process happening deep inside the tendon, where the body's attempt to protect itself actually goes horribly wrong. The villain has a name, stress shielding. So here's how it works. The healthy, strong fibers on the outside of your tendon are so tough that when you move, they take on all the force. They basically form a shield around the weak, injured spot, which sounds good, but it prevents that injured part from getting the tension, the load, that it desperately needs to kickstart the healing process. Professor Baer has this brilliant way of explaining it. The world experts were telling him to just focus on strengthening the healthy tissue, the donut, because they figured the injured part in the middle, the hole, was a lost cause. But he thought, no, the whole point has to be to fill in that hole. So here's the absolute key takeaway. That strong donut of tissue wasn't just shielding the injured hole. It was actually squeezing it, unloading it, and blocking any healing signal from ever getting through. The healthy part of the tendon was actually making the problem worse. Okay, so once you realize the problem is stress shielding, the big question becomes, how on earth do you get past that shield? 